It's election day, and the Browns are arguing about current events based on things they have learned on social media. Grandpa saw a meme saying Dad's favorite candidate isn't really a U.S. citizen. Meanwhile, Dad is determined to vote after work. But his local Facebook group is full of confusing information about which polls stay open late. And Junior isn't interested in voting at all because he has learned from TikTok conspiracy theories that his vote won't even count. Like most of America, the Browns are caught in the crosshairs of the war of the misinformation and disinformation crisis. But what's the difference between misinformation and disinformation? And how does it affect black Americans? While misinformation is based on inaccuracies that stem from error, disinformation is deliberate falsehood designed to mislead and misinform those being targeted. Misinformation can take the shape of an article shared about student loan forgiveness that reports on eligibility incorrectly, or a video created on TikTok that has medical advice suggesting a supplement can cure COVID-19. Disinformation is dangerous. It has been used for everything from challenging the reality of a global pandemic to overthrowing democracy. It can look like a politician creating lies about opposing candidates to win votes, or it can be used to challenge the validity of world-renowned doctors. Disinformation and misinformation now plague the American people as technology has made it easier to quickly and effectively spread opinions, misstatements, or false information. Big tech allows corporations to withhold or even charge more for valuable information, adversely impacting black communities. And with the misinformation and disinformation crisis, our access to the right information is even further compromised. So how do we solve this crisis? As black Americans, we can't trust every news story or image we see on the internet. We can't even take our local politicians or our favorite news outlets at their word. To combat the effects of misinformation and disinformation, we need to research different viewpoints, only trusting facts that come from sites that cite trusted sources. In addition to doing your own research, Color of Change is calling on the White House to create a disinformation task force to study the spread of misinformation and disinformation while suggesting policy changes that can help Congress reduce the rapid spread of false information. Misinformation is misleading. Disinformation is downright dangerous. Both need to be eradicated, and with research and robust policies, we can fight back. Join Color of Change in calling for strong policies to improve the information ecosystem and protect our democracy, public health, and safety.